Okay, Hawks, I want to look at one more together. So this one's going to look at a scientist named Joseph Priestley. So we know from Van Helmont that we need water. We don't really need soil. And we know from Ingenhaus that something's happening with the air. And Ingenhaus would go on to discover that it was carbon dioxide. But Priestley would really discover that something's going on with oxygen as well. This video is a little funny. There's a mouse part, which is a little disturbing. Likely it's a cartoon mouse. But Priestley did use a real mouse in his experiment. Let's watch and find out. Many hundreds of years ago, the ancient Greeks thought that plants got their nourishment from eating soil. We know that's not true. Gross. It wasn't until the middle of the 17th century that a Belgian, Jan Baptiste van Helmont, set out to prove the Greeks wrong. We know this story. This is so heavy. He took a big pot and put 91 kilograms of dried earth in it and planted a young willow tree that weighed 2.3 kilograms. Then all he did was water it for five years. Water, water, water. Mm, that's good. The tree gained 75 kilograms, but the weight of the soil hardly changed at all. So as Mr. Van Helmont said at the time, 75 kilograms of wood, bark, and roots arose out of water only. He was partly right, they need water. But Swiss scientist Senevier later found out that they also need carbon dioxide. Another discovery came from Englishman Joseph Priestley. Consider this, put a mouse in a sealed jar and what happens? <laughs> So what happens if you're inside of a sealed jar, you're eventually going to run out of air. You're going to run out of oxygen. <laughs> yep, it dies. Joseph Priestley discovered in 1780, put a plant in there with it. Mm, ah. But why? Why does that work? <sighs> and the mouse survives. It's the first demonstration that plants produce what you now know to be oxygen. Uh, but, Mr. Priestley, your oxygen. demonstration didn't work when it was dark, did it? No, no. It took a Dutchman, Jan Ingenhaus, to realize that plants only produce oxygen when there's light. So if you put a mouse inside of a jar and there's nothing else in there, eventually that mouse will run out of air. If you put a plant in there with a the mouse, it will survive. However... Only if there's sunlight or some kind of strong light. If it's dark, the mouse dies. Ingenhaus, who we learned about, is the one discovered that plants and sunlight create something happening where the plants actually take in carbon dioxide and keep it and use it, break it apart, and they send off oxygen that we breathe in. And if you're a mouse in a bell jar... Hey, who turned the lights out? That's a very important discovery, I can tell you. You are so right. <laughs> so we have a few scientists now, Van Helmont, Priestley, Ingenhaus, that have put together all these things for us. Plants need water. They need sunlight. It helps activate how they make their food and they need carbon dioxide, they need the air around them, and they release oxygen, which we breathe. And they use all that in a process called photosynthesis, which basically means they take the light, they do some work with it, with those other things, water, air, and they make food, and they give us oxygen. <laughs> 